Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. I want to concentrate on the Aussie dollar. And the reason I'm concentrating on the Aussie dollar in stock lands is at the moment, it's actually creating quite an interesting dynamic with regards to exporters and importers in terms of where we sit. At the moment, you need to look at something like Aussie Yen or even looking at Euro Aussie and Sterling Aussie because they're at levels we haven't seen for four or five years. The Aussie is actually now getting quite expensive. Good time to go on an overseas holiday, maybe. Certainly starting to see that way. Have a look at what you're seeing from Qantas. Have a look at what you're also seeing from places like Flight Center and also corporate travel management. They are seeing massive increases in bookings and bigger increases of people actually starting to move around. Despite the fact that energy is up and cost of fuel is up, transportation is actually doing quite neatly. Is it because the Aussie is cheap to Europe? Probably and possibly. Again, the pandemic plays into it as well. But for me, the one to watch here that's quite interesting is Aussie Yen. And why I'm saying Aussie Yen is because the Japanese Yen to the Aussie is now the highest it's been since August 2015, and there is every chance that the Aussie could get to parity with the yen. Why that matters? We are huge consumers of Japanese products that are imported, particularly stuff that we want for our home. Think about TVs, white goods, all those kinds of materials that tend to come out of Japanese manufacturers are the ones that we consume a lot. And the reason I highlight that is that because of that exchange rate, they appear more cheaply for us. They're a cheaper option to buy. And already there is signs that online travel, oh, sorry, online registry numbers are there. Look at things like JB Hi-Fi, look at things like Harvey Norman. Then you've got the online providers that come inside that as well. So West Farmers with things like Catch, all those kinds of things are showing signs that Japanese products are getting that little bit cheaper. Now, yes, interest rates are rising and yes, that will probably change consumer habits, but it's a different edge to look at inside stocks because those stocks know full well that those products are now becoming cheaper and how do they deal with that? Do they therefore hold on to the price and make a larger margin? Or do they pass it through to you and I as the consumer and actually drive that forward? That is the next question to watch and the thing that will be very interesting leading into the July, August reporting season because there is certainly signs that although things are getting tight, people are still consuming because it's cheaper to go overseas or buy international products than it has been for several years.